In this tutorial, I will show you how to geo-reference images in ArcGIS Pro. The data I will be using is this orthographic projection of a 2003 excavation in Peru, with the reconstruction being done in reality capture, as well as these top plans, which were, which were provided by Professor Paul Goldstein at the University of California, San Diego. To begin, I want to export ground control points from Google Earth Pro. In Google Earth Pro, these are the four ground control points I placed. I have the coordinate points saved in a CSV file, shown here. In this new project, I'm going to add a new map. Then I'm going to add the ground control points. To do this, I'm gonna hover over to add data I select XY point data. Now here on the right, I'm going to input the ground control point data. The X field will be field two, which is the eastern coordinates. The Y field will be the northern coordinates. And the Z field is the elevation. I'm also going to select the correct projected coordinate system. The projected coordinate system for this site in particular was WDS 1984, Southern Hemisphere, and 19S for Southern Peru. Now I'm going to let it run. Now for my map, I can now check that is in the correct UTM zone. The next layer we are going to add to this map is a polygon that shows the interior of this site. And we already have this here in Google Earth Pro, which I drew by clicking on add polygon and click the four corners. As you can see, the interior of this site is not a perfect, perfect rectangle. Well, that's how it is in real life. I have this polygon called interior two saved as a KML file. I'm going to import this to ArcGIS Pro. The tool you'll need is called a KML to layer. We're going to input the interior two I'll just call this interior and now let it run. Now our interior from Google Earth Pro is now inside ArcGIS Pro as a new layer. The next data I am going to add is the ortho projection. This is one way to add data by simply dragging it over here to layers. And I click OK. As you can see, this ortho projection is in place on the map. That's why we need to geo-reference it. But we could return to our previous map by going right-clicking on interior and click zoom to layer. Now we're back on our map. The next two data sets we're going to include are our top plans. One last thing I want to do before we start geo-referencing, I'm going to zoom to this layer. The appearance, I want to change this to minimum. And same thing with our top plans. To begin geo-referencing, let's go to our ortho projection and click over here on the tab on imagery and click on geo-reference. Now I'm going to add control points. I'm going to choose this corner of the site then zoom back to the interior. And I know that that point correlates with this corner. Now the side is moving. And I know that this corner over here correlates over here.
this one goes up here. It's already pretty close, but we need to fix this, this corner right here. And make sure to save. So now we can see that the interior that we imported is pretty much matched, matched up with this image. Now I'm going to apply the same process as I, as I did for this one to our top plants. So let me turn off this layer so it doesn't confuse us. And go to over here to this layer of the top plant. And same thing, go to imagery, georeference, add control points. And this one's already oriented in the correct way, but we still need to georeference it. So I know this corner correlates with this one over here. This is a pretty big image. Um, this corner here. That should shrink it down once we correlate it with this one. Great. Now we could do this corner correlates down here. And finally, this corner correlates with this one. And click Save. Now when we turn on our ortho projection, you can see it's pretty much lined up with our top plan. And what we could do is we could create shape files for these features on the site. I actually have that on another ArcGIS project here, where I created shape files of all the features. So if I were to turn off this ortho projection, it's pretty much laid over the top plans. And this covers my workflow on how I geo-reference images in ArcGIS Pro. Thank you.